Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. This year Easter is tricking us all and it's falling in March instead of April, so I thought I had tons of time to come up with some fun ideas when really it's just around the corner. I saw the other day on Pinterest these string eggs which I've never seen before and I thought they were so beautiful, wouldn't it be fun to do a fully edible version? So I'm going to show you how to make these lacy kind of filigree looking eggs out of candy melts and we're going to stuff them with candy because there's no such thing as too much candy, especially at Easter time. The things that you're going to need, I'm using candy melts. I'm doing pink today, but you can see I've made a whole different range of colours here. I've also got an Easter egg mould, so it doesn't really matter if you're using a hard plastic one, I've got an individual, I've got some of the more flexible plastics. You can use any type of Easter egg mould. If you can't find them where you are, check online because they're available year round. I've also got a Ziploc bag and a pair of scissors and essentially that's it. Depending on what you want to stuff your Easter eggs with, you might want to have some additional candy. So I've got some mini M&Ms and some little solid Easter eggs. Let's get started. So I've put my candy melts into my Ziploc bag. You can use a piping bag here too, but it gets kind of messy and it's nice to just be able to chuck the Ziploc bag away at the end. I'm going to just cut a nice little fine piping tip and don't go too crazy fine here because if you go too fine, all of your little bits of lace and filigree will break. So you kind of need that happy medium so they still look nice and dainty but they're not going to snap as you try to pull them out of the mould. This is where you just kind of flick your wrist. So in it goes and I'm literally just squiggling inside there. You want to overlay it a couple of times over itself, but you don't want a solid colour. You want to make sure that you're getting like that really nice kind of lacy effect. Make sure you bring it all the way up around the edges. And then before I finish up here, I need to make sure that I've got something solid that I can stick my two halves together with. So I'm going to run my piping bag all the way around the top. You can see I'm kind of just squeezing it slightly on the inside rim of that big Easter egg mould. And then I'm just going to use my finger, I'm just going to come around the outside edge, which finishes off my shape really nicely and it clears up that edge so that my egg is going to come out nice and easily and there's not chocolate kind of sticking it all around the outsides. Again with my second half, it kind of reminds me of like finger painting or getting really messy in art class as a kid and around with my finger just to neaten it off. These ones are going to set in the freezer. I'm going to set them in the freezer because I want them to be really, really nice and solid because they're so fine, but the freezer will also help them contract away from that plastic egg mould and it'll help them come out a lot easier than just refrigeration. Once those guys have had time to set and give them about 15 minutes, but they're pretty fine so they don't need huge amounts of time, you should almost be able to hear them cracking slightly as they contract away from the outside edges. We don't want to hear actual cracking, but if your egg should crack, it's not the end of the world. You can just glue it back together with a little bit of that melted candy melt. And out comes our beautiful lacy filigree looking egg. Now it's up to you here if you want to fill this with anything. I tried stuffing one of these large ones full of little solid eggs and they were too heavy so they broke through it. But I found they looked really nice when I took one of my little other filigree eggs which I made in my smaller mould and stuck that inside. It's like an egg within an egg. I guess you could put an egg within that egg. In goes my blue. It's really pretty because you kind of get that little poke of colour through that pink and it kind of gives you the dual colour effect. And then I'm going to use my snap seal bag just to come around the outside edge. You want these to be nice and cold when you're doing this so that the heat of your fingers isn't melting through that candy melt and so that edge sets really nice and quickly. And on goes our other half. You can smooth around the outside edge with your finger just to make it really nice and seamless. And there is our little egg. I kind of wish I'd stuck another smaller egg inside the smaller egg so that I had an egg within an egg within an egg, but you get the general idea. I hope you guys have liked today's really fun, really simple video for how to make your own string Easter egg. I love these because they're gorgeous, they're really unique, but best of all, they're homemade. If you want a ton more really fun ideas for Easter, I'll leave a link to my Easter playlist down below so you can see all of my videos from years past. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching.